Hey guys, well, it's time to get another fourth weapon, so let's do it. Alright, so in the last part we got Zen G's fourth weapon. This time around, we're gonna get Gan Ning's fourth weapon. In order to do that, yes, we're gonna battle her Fei, play under Wu's forces, and play as Gan Ning. There we go, let's do it. Alright, so the level itself, I mean, it depends. I mean, we're playing on Wu's forces, so it depends on whether or not Zhang Liao retreats and rushes the commander. So, if he doesn't, then it'll be easy. If not, then, you know, if he does do it, then it'll be a little bit of a hassle. Anyway, we know the uh, intro, we know the conditions, the equipment, the weapon. We have a River Master with mounted attack of 1 and regular attack of 7, so. I'm not trying to find anything better because, you know, I think I could I could actually get all of the fourth weapons now with what I have. I'm not trying to find anything better. I mean there are a few that I needed to. Shuka Liang and some of these, but you know, here whoops. Yeah, so anyway, the same five items, you already know what they are. Bodyguards, we're gonna keep at eight. Alright. And also the fourth weapon isn't that difficult. I mean, it's tricky, but it's not, you know, hard. I mean, it's just one little thing, but anyway, let's just continue. Uh, I'll talk about it once we start. Head for the Northwest Road. Alright, so the fourth weapon. Pretty simple, or not, depending on how you, you know, how you see it. You just gotta make sure Taisha so it gets killed, but not not just getting killed, but you need to trigger the cutscene where Zhang Liao ambushes Taisha so and kills him in that cutscene. So yeah, a little bit of a This is the second time we're actually gonna be doing this because the first time we had unlocked Sun Chuan. Yeah, we had to pretty much do almost every single cutscene to unlock Sun Chuan, so Yeah, so this should be a walk in the park. So there's a few things you gotta make sure don't happen. One, make sure Zhang Liao doesn't get killed before the cutscene, obviously. And two, make sure that Taishu Se is actually attacking Zhang Liao, because if he doesn't, he'll move to the side. Yeah, he'll move to the side, and, well, he won't the cutscene won't happen. I mean, it probably will. It'll just take a much, much longer. And there's two ways to get the cutscene, in a way. One, I mean, I'm going by theory. Because we've done this numerous times, and we had to make sure they're both in the little square here. That's one way. Like I said, theory. I'm not 100% sure. And the second one... The second one, just wait it out. But uh, I'm not going to try to weigh it out because sometimes you might accidentally, well, Taisha Se, from well, my case, it happened to me. Taisha Se winds up killing Zhang Liao by accident. So let's weaken him a little bit because, well, yeah. So this should happen pretty much any second, hopefully. Alright, now let's defeat Zhang Liao as soon as possible because if he retreats, then we're going to have a little issue there. I have found 
found my place of rest. Farewell. I defeated an officer. All right, so now the supply unit is going to head south from where Lu Meng is. Well, it arrived by Cao Cao, obviously. But then it's going to go downwards towards Lu Meng. So let's go around this way. Alright, and now you can play, you know, play the level normally. But uh, just make sure you def uh, destroy that supply captain. Because if you don't, then you're not going to get the fourth weapon. Plain and simple. So go for Zhao Dun since he's right by the supply captain. You know, without killing ourselves in the process. I shall put an end to this. All right, so let's defeat that supply captain before we do anything else. Alright, so there's the fourth weapon. Now play it normally. Well, that's how I see it. Once you grab that fourth weapon, you can play it normally. And you, you know, you could go for the commander to see if I care. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to defeat everybody because I kind of, you know, I kind of got away with one of them. All right, so Zhao Dun's down. We must fight well. All right, next is Sao Ren. Without getting hit by an arrow. Alright, here's Sao Ren. There we go. Alright, so Ren's down. Now we're gonna go to the top right. Don't fall behind. Yeah, so now we're gonna go to the top right and make sure Lu Xun doesn't get killed. Because so I've done this before and pretty much everyone was dead except for... Let's see here. I'm just gonna do it real quick. Soon Xuan. Zhou Tai and Lu Su. Those are the only three that were alive. So now we're going to try to keep as many as possible. I mean, I'm not promising you I'm going to keep them all alive, but yeah. Ah, <sighs> jeez. So I. Honestly, thought it was gonna be a lot trickier to get Taisha to his fourth, uh, not Taisha to his fourth weapon. What am I saying? Uh, that cutscene. I mean, I guess I'm right to an extent, just based on, you know, from what I did the first time, just to make sure, you know, if it was running properly. So, like I said before, just make sure you don't defeat Zhang Liao by accident. And if you hold out long enough, you know, after Taisha to gets assassinated. Zhang Liao will retreat and that's something that you don't want to happen because you know he will cause a little bit of an issue later on 
and Gan Ning won't appear because, well, you're Gan Ning. So it's a little disadvantage, in my opinion. I don't know if the cutscene actually appears where Gan Ning arrives. Well, Gan Ning arrives, but I'm not taking my chances on that one either. And this should finish him. Or completely miss. Alright, now Sao Hong. Well, wrong target, but at least it's crossbows I'm hitting. Alright, now Sal P. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about Zen G at the moment because once we defeat Sal P, she will retreat. Alright, so now all we have left is Shu Huang, Sao Zhang, and Sao Sao. We also have Jia Xu and Shu Xu as sub generals, but I'm talking about generals. And we could also trigger that cutscene where Sun Shuan jumps over the bridge, but we don't have to since that's not an objective. If anyone's wondering what the objective is for Sun Shuan, I mean, I've done it before and I unlocked Sun Shuan. But in order to do that, you have to make sure you do the following. You need to make sure you trigger the uh, cutscene where Zhang Liao kills Tai Shi Se in ambush. You need to make sure. You need to make sure Tai Shi Se, you know, I mean Tai Shi Se, Zhang Liao retreats. You need to make sure you do that cutscene with Sun Chuan jumping over the bridge. Make sure Zhang Liao's cutscene where he goes after the commander on Wu side appears. Well, that to happen. Make sure Gan Ning appears. Make sure Sun Chuan's or well, depending on who, you, if it's Musun mode or free mode. Just make sure the commander starts charging into main headquarters because that's one of the actual conditions. Yeah, believe it or not, I mean, you know the conditions already, but one of the conditions is, well, for me right now, if Sun Chuan enters enemy he headquarters, then we'll win. But um, that's just if you're playing with anyone other than Sun Chuan or the commander, so... It's also a cutscene where reinforcements will arrive away. So plain and simple, just make sure everything happens that needs to happen in the battle, and then you'll unlock Sun Chuan. Probably one of the harder ones in my opinion, just because you gotta make sure you gotta do every well, make sure everything happens. And that includes negative stuff, and that's not the easiest thing to do. Alright, Sao Zhang's down. Now we could go ahead and actually defeat Xu Xu and Sao Sao now. I know I'm wasting a Musu attack, but I'm going by foot. Because all I have left is, you know, these two, and that's it. And I think there's health over here. Not a lot, but... Okay, that was weird. 
that crossbow was spazzing out. I mean, we could get our Musu back quickly. Like that, see? Now let's go and defeat Shushu. I shall destroy all who get in my way. Oh, we could always go for Sao Sao too. You're mine. I think I messed up there. Oh no, no I didn't. Okay. Whoops. Alright. Whoa, something appeared. Alright, this this might finish him off? No, I completely missed, never mind. Alright, let's just wait. Okay, now Sao Sao. Alright, here we go. Whoops. That wasn't supposed to happen, but, you know, I'll take it. He might have shield on that one. No, I just completely missed on that one. Eh, it wasn't a complete miss. It looked like I attacked him a little bit. Alright, let's just do what I do normally. Or try to, anyway. Uh, so much for that. Yikes. And that's a win. Alright, so that's 10 down. We got our first 10. We still got 31 more to go, but, you know, we got our first 10. We're pretty much near a quarter of the way. And we did it in 13 and change. I did a little less than that the first time, and I did it with 200 KOs. So, anyway, this is our fourth weapon, the Seamaster. We have a lightning element with speed of 22, jump of 21, additional attack of 25, luck of 26, and a Musu charge of uh, 28. So, pretty good weapon. Also got River Master 14. Alright, luck 16. Eh, let's just stick with the attack. I mean, I'm not going to use that ever again, so might as well pick something. You know? Alright, so... Who cares about the points? We actually managed to uh, keep pretty much every general alive except for Taisha Sir, which is basically the objective for the fourth weapon. So other than that, we pretty much kept everyone alive, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, we're skipping the points because, you know, we saw that. It was at max. Anyway, we'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, and I'll see you for the next part, which will be Sun Shang Xiang's fourth weapon. Alright, peace.